first piece. Is Katamari art from Sweden? Hund. Sorry if I'm in uh, mispronouncing that, but this is cool. There's like one Katamari stream left, and it won't be a long one, but maybe Friday I can do that along with um, further story missions in Red Dead or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Speaking of, Limo Lover 99 made this. Now, is this Ligma version? I, I wanted to. I didn't want to spoil anything. All right, anyway, don't worry about it. It's good. Thank you for that. Here's one from Mundane Salad. Vinny, that's from Mother 3. No, it's tagged Red Dead Redemption. I, I know there's a cowboy in Mother 3. Um, I see that there's a lot of people asking for it. And as I've stated two years ago, the more you ask, the more you delay. So I guess we're in 2019 now for a Mother 3 stream. Mundane Salad, nice work on this. Time to bring out the crabs. Blade Mother 3, 2049. Great shroom. Here's one from Flaming Pizza. Also, fart noises are still so funny. Do you remember, do you remember fart noises? The nostalgia for fart noises? It's like the phrase, the bigger they come, the harder they come, <laughs> the harder they fall, is that phrase. And that's the nostalgia for it that I have, because I remember it. People used to say that. Flaming Pizza. It says here, based off of the latest corruption compilation. Cool. Here's one from... Saisher, I think, Paulette. Cheer up, bud. The great Vinayachi is streaming tonight. Go see him. But, dude, I am Vinayachi. I don't really fully get it. It's nice, though. But what is it? This is from the Dodgeball movie. It's a famous story. It's a reference to that clown story. Now that you're saying clown story, it's vaguely familiar, but... Uh, it's, um... Yeah, I'm reading it on Wikipedia. Uh, whatever, I'll have to, I'll have to take a look. Man goes to doctor, says he's depressed. Doctor goes to see clown to cheer up. Man says, I am clown. Oh, yeah, the famous clown. Yeah. It's a story about a man that makes everyone happy. A guy sees someone depressed and tells him to see the clown, but the depressed guy is the clown. I get it. Oh. Oh, I really get it now. Huh. <laughs> Here's one from Agus Megnon. And um hey Vinny, could you spare a doodle dip? Sorry, chat, but you're already you already used up your monthly allowance. Doodle dip. Here, there's one for you. I can give you one. Uh Grumpo Rama made this. Vinny, what is the doodle dip meme? Ah, oh, man, classic. It, it can be applied to every situation. It's the most versatile, never-ending, perfect meme to ever have existed. But, you know, but the opposite of that. Um, Grumporama, this is cool. It's a little dark. I like it.
This one's from 1P Wins. And uh, some shroomage. Bunch of different shrooms. Lots of different types of shrooms. Well, two different types of shrooms, but lots of them. Good job. It's nice and colorful. Good art style. Same for this one. Sloth Queen made this one. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. And I don't believe I have a scarf at the moment. But I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't wear a scarf. I'm going to tell you a completely pointless, nonsensical story. Just because it's something that this reminded me of. The word scarf, let's say. And this art. Uh, I had a scarf that I liked years ago. And I wore it a lot. And I started getting, like, my mouth was getting, like, kind of dry. And, like, there was, like, I noticed fibers in my mouth. And I didn't know where they were coming from. I was like, why, why am I getting fibers in my mouth? And um, the fucking scarf, I guess, like, the material of it was so, I don't know the word, but it was so loose that I was breathing in the scarf fiber. And it was like in my mouth and I would go like, I would like, I would like do that. And I would be like, what the fuck is this? It would like be like bluish black fiber material that I would spit out. It was enough to notice. It wasn't that much, but it was enough to notice and it was getting gross. And I, it was my favorite scarf and I had to stop wearing it. So I know that's the weirdest fucking thing I could be telling you right now. And I know it sounds like a, almost like a fake story, but it's real. And I still have the scarf, but it's just, what, what the fuck was it made of? Asbestos? Anyway, here's one from Safino X. Here's some smash art. That's cool. Nicely, nicely done. Good paunch. P-A-W-N-C-H. I think this is me half of the stream tonight, looking exactly like that. The harder challenges in particular. Edgelord will be powered up, by the way, soon enough. Here's one from Bunny Unces. Bunny Unces. And it's Isabel, but with my hat and clothes and stuff. And uh, it's nice. Nice work. Isabel's a good character. She's a good fighter. And she's a pretty good assistant to the mayor as well. This one's from Alina D. Crystals. Shrooms. I like that you can only see color through the crystals. That's kind of... It's a concept piece. I like it. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, oh, there is one more, though, from Akatharia, but it's a BRB. I can't end on a BR BRB. Everybody knows rules. Akatharia, though. Um, good job with this. Nice 3D work. Uh, love it. Cowboy hat. I see some rings, a moon. I can tell you worked hard on this. I very much like it, and I'm definitely going to use this as a, as a BRB because I think it's great. And, and obviously, the attention to detail shows the lighting is really nice, too. But everybody knows the rules. I can't end with that. Um, also, this is kind of based on Take On Me, the music video, and thenceforth, the Easter egg in Just Cause, which I didn't put together. I didn't piece that together right away. But now I have. Very good. So... Anyway, have a good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you Friday. I believe um, there's another highlight video scheduled to be uploaded tomorrow. Uh, so there's three this week. I've got a lot of uh, help with editing. It's been great. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that's been helping me out with the highlights. It's really keeping that channel alive. Um, it's second best to a lot of people. I know I have had a lot of people say, Vinny, you know, I wish you would continue editing your own videos and shit took like four or five days per video. And I just don't have it in me anymore, 
but I don't take that as a negative thing. I take that as a compliment and I appreciate that people like my editing. I liked it. I had fun with it for a time and it became a slog. And then I just got sick of hearing my own voice <laughs> and watching my own goddamn streams. Um, that's another part of it too. There's only so much me I need in my, in my head. God, that's so weird to say, but yeah, it's accurate though. It's like, I have to live with myself <laughs> daily. Plus I was editing my streams and then watching those and cutting them down. It was just too much me. So that's part of it. But thank you everybody that's helped. Uh, I think the highlights have been really good lately and I've enjoyed uh, being able to upload two or three videos a week. Not all the time, but this week it's going to be three and then, you know, we're going to slow down a bit. So pretty good. The clips feature is helpful, Dave. I agree. The clips feature, I, that wasn't a thing when I was making my own highlights. So I wasn't able to put any of the clips together. I didn't know. I just had to go through the moments myself and find out what people might like. Um, so anyway, uh, check out the other streamers. If you have any time, twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce. If you're looking for some, if you're looking, if you're down footsteps, if you're down and you're looking to clown, you can go there and you can wait here for the auto host. And it'll usually take you to a bunch of different streamers. Um, and you can go to vine sauce.com. It's just some directories that you might enjoy of other streamers. Uh, hopefully me and Jerma or Kriken or Joel or whoever, or Mike, we could get some smash going at some point. But, um, you know, uh, on my own time, it's, it's tough to find the time. I'll try my best, but it's tough. And I also think that the online is a little bit ass. It's much better in person, but such is life. Um, see you Friday. Take care. And, um, I'm not going to give you a last doodle dip, but goodbye.